hello viewers welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can password protect your wp admin page and add an extra layer of security to your wp admin page so without further ado let's start the video so let me open a new tab and go to my website and uh, when i go to my login page as you can see it is showing me my default login page where I can enter the username and password and login so if you want to add an extra layer of security just close this tab log into your cPanel and select directory privacy from the files here you will have all the files just select the public underscore HTML and click on edit This will open new security settings. Click on password protect this directory. Give it a name if you want. I'm gonna leave it the uh, same as it is. And click on save. We have set the privacy for the directory and go back and create a username and password for this uh, directory. If you scroll down, you can see create user. Just enter the username and the password. Let me enter a strong password. After entering the password just click on save this will save the settings now go back and uh, as you can see we have one authorized user if you want you can add more and you can delete the authorized user as well now if you want to know how it works open a new tab I will open an incognito tab and go to my login page and here it is it is asking me to sign in so let me sign in using my new username and password and click on sign in and now it is taking me to the default WP admin page so this is how it works it will add a extra layer of security to your WordPress website and, and prevent your website from hacking and here you can enter your default WordPress username and password and log into your dashboard so this is how it works it will add an extra layer of security now if you want to delete the authorized user or if you want to undo the settings just uh, go back to cPanel and in the authorized users just select the user and click on delete this will delete the users Just uncheck this password protect the directory and click on save and uh, now it is back to normal if you go to your website it will not give you the extra layer of security so if you want more videos on cPanel WordPress and digital marketing you can check out my channel and if you found this video helpful don't forget to give a like and subscribe thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye